genocide, politics, or religion? Hey, I just wanted to make a quick video about one allegation that bothers me a lot, and that is equating um, uh, not believing in God with genocide. Because, okay, um, we have Hitler, which that's not a very accurate um, correlation that he was an atheist, because we can't be entirely sure of that. He had a lot of public comments uh, supporting the Catholic Church. Um, the Catholic Church supported him. There's some people that thought he kind of subscribed to some kind of Nordic, weird, Germanic religion that was sort of pagan. And then we have a few private comments that reflect um, a lack of belief in any religion. Um, and then there's Stalin and uh, Pol Pot and the other communists, um, Mao, that all were... they did commit acts of genocide. However, I wouldn't blame it on religious belief or lack of religious belief. I'd blame it on political ideology. <laughs> I'm not even blaming it on communism so much as just um, they were tyrants. Um, you know, when you have absolute power, absolute control, you tend to do terrible things. Now, in our country, we don't focus on the Japanese invasion of Manchuria and all the killing that went on there, um, but there was genocide in Manchuria, and no one ever really vilifies Shintoism for um, that gen genocide, the cult of the emperor, or they don't really vilify Shintoism for kamikaze pilots. I think any religion can be twisted to suit political ends, and I think it's always the politics more than anything that are to blame, or at least a better rationalization for uh, for atrocities. Okay. So, okay, most atheists aren't like me. I'm a libertarian. Um, quite a few atheists are big-time liberal. Um, Democrat in this country um, supporters um, a few are anarchists and I consider anarchism really naive um, D. Forshawn might disagree with me but I just don't see how you can get all the assholes in society to behave without um, the fear of police and being raped in prison basically I mean there has to be a punishment system for people who are so asocial that they will not and cannot behave. Until you eliminate all those individuals, um, there's no way that people can cooperate without cheating, it, unless there is some kind of punitive measures taken. As a libertarian, ideologically, a lot of Christians um, reflect my values in politics, which is a very, very open government, um, a very small government, a government controlled by the people, the majority of the people that are law-abiding. And I believe in freedom. And I don't believe in a lot of welfare because I think once you start handing things to people, you take away their motivation to work and produce. And to live in a productive society that puts out a lot of products and is beneficial to everyone you can't have a lot of parasites sucking off the foundation I'm open as far as healthcare I'm open to arguments because I, I I've dealt with the healthcare system in this country a lot um, environmentally I kind of sway from the party line because I'm not entirely sure um, private lawsuits could deal with the problem 
Um, corporations can bribe the judges, which I don't know if that actually occurs now, but corporations do write the laws that the EPA follows. Under Bush, we've had lax environmental standards. So, to finally get back to the point, I think politics um, is much more important than religion. Um, my videos might not reflect this. However, I the whole genocide thing, like comparing me to a Nazi just because I don't believe in God, even though most Nazis were Catholic, uh, I think that's a bit unfair. Because, you know, the Russians technically were atheistic, however, a lot of them privately were Eastern Orthodox. Um, the Chinese, since the government has eased up on societal controls, despite the propaganda that a lot of Christians would like to tell you, um, a lot of times they're going back to the old kind of shamanistic, Buddhist religions, and a lot of times they're just praying when they gamble. That's the truth with the godless Chinese embrace of theism. Um, you can do a Google search and try to find that information, and if you hammer me in the comment section, I will back that up with figures. Um, however, it's getting late, and I don't want to fuck with this too long. So, okay. Politics is more important than religion when it comes to genocide. I will argue that with you all day long. However, the two are tied. No, not really. Because you can find people of any political persuasion and any religious persuasion in one. We have socialists who are Christians. We have socialists that are ultra-conservative in the American sense. We have atheistic libertarians. We have fundamentalist Christian libertarians. I mean, you can mix and match. There's more than one factor to each individual and to each tyrant.